Just get them games, baby. Yeah. What's good? It's The Last Chad and we're back with another video for you guys. I decided today, you know, I'm not training on a Sunday. It's not going to be a Sunday where, you know, I'm doing these big lifts or anything like that because I'm actually trying to put up some strength at the moment. I figured I'd take you guys through a video of what I eat and how I recover on my recovery days. Quite often in the gym, we have this misconception that, you know, we're going to gain all this size by training really, really hard. In actual fact, it's about what you eat about how you recover, then it's about how hard you can train. You know, wake up on a normal day, maybe sleep in a little bit on your recovery days. As you can see, it's quite late in the day. I like to make sure that I drink a lot of water throughout the day. So my first tip for today is make sure you're drinking enough water. If you don't give yourself enough water, your muscles can't have enough water in the blood and it can't fill out the muscle cells. You know, you can't have enough water for your tendons, for your organs, for all sorts of things. So first tip, make sure you're drinking enough water. People say, you know, between six to eight hours of sleep is what you need. And me being a taller person, I've found sleep that I sit a little bit higher on that scale, more towards seven to eight. If you sleep for six hours and you feel rested, that's fine. But I find personally, I managed to sleep, you know, seven to eight hours and I feel a little bit better than if I had slept six hours. Second tip is sleep. I just want to pretense the whole day as Today is a recovery day. Food is basically the goal. There's nothing that can come close to what your diet is like. The better you eat, the better you'll feel, the better you can train, the better your body will adapt too. Obviously, I'm not undermining sleep and hydration. Those two are very important, but food is paramount. So I like to wake up in the morning and have one of two things. Either I decide to have eggs on toast, in which I'll have five eggs and four pieces of toast. Um, I'll have some butter on that. I'll have something else on the side, like maybe a coffee and, and some milk and maybe a small bowl of cereal. Um, or I'll have oats, peanut butter, banana, yogurt, milk, and two scoops of protein in a blender, which both of the meals average around a thousand calories. The reason why I think this is such an important thing is waking up, your body has basically been starving for eight hours or seven hours, however long, and you wanna try and kickstart your metabolism so you can start protein synthesis again, as well as get your energy levels right. Now people say miss breakfast, it's, you know, you don't need it, I feel groggy in the morning, I don't feel like eating. It's because you've been starving for eight hours that your body doesn't want to eat because it's like, okay, I don't, I can't eat, so I'm just gonna shut down. If you're trying to pick up strength and you're trying to pick up size, you need to make sure that you're getting your calories in in the morning and you're getting protein and starting that digestion working. If you're trying to lose weight and you're trying to cut or health reasons or psychological reasons, then you can fast and that's fine, but just accept that your training isn't gonna be as good if you don't have fuel in your tank. I think also that it's worth me adding that this is an optional recovery stack as well. Um, it also is just what I take on a daily basis. So you've got your vitamin D. This here is really, really good for your testosterone. It's really good for like obviously what it says on the label too, as well as not getting COVID. So I've recently added this in and I felt like my recovery's gotten a little bit better. Vitamin C, I normally just take two of these a day. Um, I take two of these, so about a thousand milligrams, then I take one at night if I'm feeling really, really tired. I take two of these in the morning as well, just because I want my hair and my skin and all the rest of it to be nice and nice and flush as well as my mind and hormones also rely on this too so you know i wanted to get zinc in my diet and i was running a bit low on the finances because you guys haven't subscribed so if you guys are watching this you need to subscribe to help me get proper supplements please basically just the reason why i got it was because of the zinc and the magnesium so i take two of these at night it's really good for sleep and just support hormones once again as you know us natty lifters are all about supporting the natural testosterone production. Wow, we don't like this stuff. Yeah, that's um, my supplement stack. We're in the gym and we're doing a bit of a recovery session, um, as well as some accessory movements that I feel like I don't get enough of during the week. So it's really just a muck around. That is my session for today. So as you can see, I've got some just basically warm up activities that I like to do, just maintenance stuff that helps me stay a little bit more flexible and less injury prone. Um, I'm doing some neck training because I want to get a thick, juicy neck some forearms curls and extensions because i want popeye to say the forearms a little bit of boxing for some cardio doing a circuit with some abs and a salt bike which is going to absolutely ruin me and then i got another circuit with some more abs which is hanging leg raises chops and some sprints on the weird ass treadmill over there 
So I'm just gonna basically have you guys along with me for my workout and what I normally do on my recovery days and just what I do to muck around in the gym. We're now having meal number three. I'm back at work and I am about to start training some clients. But I got my microwave meal in the microwave, cooking it up. That is meal number three for me for today. Six foot six, trying to bulk. You best believe that I'm a big eater. So if you ain't a big eater, you ain't gonna grow. Just finished my clients. We're time for now meal number four. In my hands here milk. I already doused the other one and uh, me and Jake um, have basically decided to skip some come and get some Domino's pizzas. Um, it's probably not the healthiest thing for you know an athlete or anyone that is trying to you know do well in the gym but it is necessary if you want to try and get your calories in in a very efficient way and not really feel like you are just eating cardboard and rice the whole time. So this is meal number four. I got a beef and onion pizza. I'm gonna eat the whole pizza deep dish because you always gotta make sure you hit that deep dish. And then I'm gonna go home and hit my last meal and that is gonna be me done for the day of eating at six foot six to try and gain. And although Joe Fraser, another tall YouTuber, he does have a very kind of structured calorie intake throughout the day and he does eat clean meals and he only hits about 4K. Um, I have to just personally disagree with that. Being six foot six and being a very tall person, having a fast metabolism, I've always struggled to pick up, pick up weight. And the only way that I've ever found of picking up weight is making sure that my foods are calorie dense. So yes, eating Domino's pizza is not a healthy option, but if you eat your greens, you make sure you do your cardio and you don't take drugs and drink alcohol, you're gonna be picking up weight. You just need to make sure you eat. Look at someone like Larry Wheels. Yep, just eat, baby. Just get in game, baby. Yeah. <laughs> 